friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I am so incredibly excited about the three recipes that I have to share with you. I've been eating them already and they're absolutely amazing must must make so if you're excited for another meal prep give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel and it only takes a second and i really really appreciate it and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed please make sure you subscribe click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video down in the description box you will find my recipe website all three of today's recipes as well as all of the other recipes i've created are on my website you'll also find nutrition coaching where i do your personalized macros and calories just for you to help you reach your goals and I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group is also down in that description box. Head on over and join us there. So let's jump into this WW meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making a cheesy hash brown and egg breakfast muffin. These are going to be so good. I'm gonna pair this with some fruit for a perfect breakfast. So let me show you what's in the cheesy hash brown and egg breakfast muffin. First, you're going to need some light shredded cheese, center cut bacon, green onions. I have these chopped up from a salad. You need about three green onion stalks, fresh or dried parsley, hash browns, frozen but thawed, eggs, one bell pepper, salt and pepper, and olive oil. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop a pan of bacon into the oven. The recipe calls for six slices. I'm just cooking a whole pan. We like to have cooked bacon on hand. So I'm gonna pop this in a 400 degree oven until crispy. I'm going to go ahead and chop up my red bell pepper. We want to dice it really fine. And then I'm also going to chop up one more stalk of green onion. I don't think what I have already chopped is going to be enough. So I wanted to show you guys my little handy chopper that I had featured in my favorites video that went up on Sunday. This is from Amazon. This thing is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some of my red bell pepper. I just sliced them into smaller slices just so they'd fit a little bit better in the container. Pop the lid on and then you literally just hit this button and it'll chop it. It's so easy. Look at it. How perfectly chopped that is, nice and fine in a matter of seconds. I'm obsessed with this. Again, I'll link this down below for you. And I did, again, feature this in Sunday's favorites video. While the bacon is in the oven, we're going to put together the hash brown portion. So in my big bowl here, I have a couple tablespoons of the chopped bell pepper and the green onion. I have the rest of that set aside here. I'm going to add one cup of shredded cheese, about a tablespoon of dried parsley, salt and pepper, 18 ounces of thawed hash browns, and a half of a tablespoon of my olive oil. Now we're going to stir that together, get that hash brown mixture combined really well. I'm going to spray my muffin tin with some nonstick cooking spray. And then with the hash brown mixture, I'm going to fill these about halfway full. Take your fingers, press them down, push up around the edges. You're basically forming a cup for the egg mixture to go into. So go ahead and just push it down flat in the center and up and around the sides.
to go into a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. We just want the edges of the hash browns to get nice and browned. So into a small bowl, I'm going to crack and whisk together five eggs. I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of milk and then whisk again. So I just pulled out the hash brown cups and now we're going to take our small scoop. We want a tablespoon or two of the egg mixture per cup. Just make sure that you have enough for all 12 cups. each of the little cups with a little bit of the bell pepper and green onion mixture. And then I have my six pieces of crumbled up center cut bacon. I'm going to divide that over the 12 muffin cups as well. My remaining one cup of light cheese, I'm going to top each one with about a tablespoon. And then finish it off with just a little sprinkle of the rest of the bell pepper and green onion. We're going to put this back in the oven for another 15 minutes or until the eggs are cooked completely through. I just pulled the breakfast muffins out of the oven. These look and smell so delicious. I'm going to let them cool for just a couple of minutes. I'm going to pop them out, put them in a storage container, and I'll be back to share points and calories. Here are the cheesy hash brown and egg breakfast muffins. Again, the recipe makes 12 muffins. Each muffin is only three points on blue and purple, five on the green plan, and of course the calories are here on the screen. These look absolutely delicious. I'll have one, maybe two, and some fruit each day for breakfast, but I cannot wait. For my lunch this week, I'm making pineapple fried rice. So excited for this. Fried rice sounds amazing. Adding in that pineapple just kind of gives it that summer vibe. So here's what's in our recipe. I'm going to need some eggs, green onions, and a red bell pepper. The recipe calls for frozen peas and carrots and frozen corn. So I'm just going to do this mixed vegetable. Everything's in here plus green beans. I don't think that's going to make any difference in the fried rice some pepper, sesame oil, minced garlic, ginger, fresh ginger, ground ginger, or in my case, ginger paste, soy sauce. I'm doing a, this bag of small raw shrimp, rice, regular oil, olive or avocado, and then a fresh or canned pineapple. I'm going to go ahead and dice up my red bell pepper and my green onions. To a large skillet or a wok, add one tablespoon of oil, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and your thawed shrimp. We're going to allow this to cook about three minutes until they're pink. Once the shrimp is pink, we're going to add in the red bell pepper and the bag of the frozen vegetables. Allow this to cook down for just a couple of minutes until the vegetables are softened. I have two cups of uncooked rice coming to a boil here. That should make about four cups total of cooked rice. And the shrimp and veggie mixture is coming along nicely. It's just about done. We're going to pop in some garlic and some ginger. Stir that in and allow it to cook for another one to two minutes. Push the shrimp and veggie mixture to the side and we're going to crack in three eggs and scramble those and then stir together with the shrimp and vegetables. Once your eggs are scrambled, go ahead and just stir all of that together. Reduce it to low heat before adding in your rice and the pineapple. While the shrimp mixture is on low heat, we're going to add a quarter of a cup or more to taste of soy sauce, some black pepper, 
about one and a half cups of fresh pineapple and the sliced up green onions. Give that a stir and then lastly we'll add in the rice. Once you add in your rice we're going to stir that in. Let it cook for another three to four minutes just until those flavors meld really well with that rice. So I have my big pan of fried rice here. This whole pan makes six servings. So I have my meal prep bowls and what I'm going to do is start with a heaping half of a cup per bowl and I'll just repeat that until I've used up all the rice and put together six bowls. So I went ahead and divided the pineapple fried rice out between all six bowls. So it is five points per bowl on all plans. The only thing you actually have to count for is the rice, which equates to about a half of a cup per bowl, and then the oils used to prepare it. Everything else in this recipe is zero points. Calories are here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm actually going to make a blueberry bar with an oatmeal crumble topping. So all the summer vibes with the blueberries, we have been wanting something like this for a while, kind of that jammy fresh bar. So for the recipe, you're going to need some blueberries. You could do fresh or frozen. Lemon juice, you could also squeeze a fresh lemon. Cornstarch, brown sugar substitute of your choice. Of course, mine is Lakanto. I will have Lakanto linked down below with a 15% off discount. All-purpose flour, rolled oats, salt, light butter, and also a sugar substitute. And of course, I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit. So into a large bowl, I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour, one half of a cup of my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, one half of a cup of melted light butter, three quarters of a cup of rolled oats, pinch of salt, and then go ahead and stir that. Make sure that gets mixed really well. It should form a somewhat crumbly mixture. I'm going to take about a cup of the crumble mixture and set it aside. This will be sprinkled on top of our bars. Into my 8x8 baking dish, I'm going to add the other half of the crumble mixture and spread it out nice and even along the bottom. And then go ahead and press down. We want to make a crust, a hard flat surface for our blueberry mixture. Then we're gonna set this mixture aside and get started on the blueberries. We're going to first add in 12 ounces of frozen or fresh blueberries, one third cup of our monk fruit sweetener, one quarter cup of our Lakanto brown sugar packed, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. We wanna stir that together until those blueberries are coated in the sugars as well as the cornstarch. Now we're going to add the blueberry mixture right on top of that crust that we formed. Spread that out nice and even. That cornstarch as the blueberries cook will thicken up and that'll make a nice jam-like filling for the inside of our bars. And now we're just going to sprinkle that one cup that we reserved of the crumb mixture right over the top. These look so delicious. This would actually have been a great 4th of July dessert. You could decorate it with maybe some red sprinkles. It'd be really cute, but we're going to eat it all week after the 4th of July. So go ahead and spread out that mixture and the blueberry bar mixtures going in an oven at 350 degrees for about 55 minutes or until it's cooked completely through. That crumble will get nice and brown and the blueberries will form that thicker mixture that we talked about, more like a jam. The blueberry bars are out of the oven. The pan makes a total of eight servings. These look so delicious. They are four points on all plans per serving when cut into eight squares. 
Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope that you enjoyed all three recipes that I shared with you today. And don't forget they are on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. If you enjoyed this meal prep, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and join our community. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday. I hope you had a fabulous 4th of July weekend and I'll see you in my next video.